Hey guys, today in SEO Integral Factor, we are going to compare the Chaos Armor level 110 to the Chaos Armor level 135. We are going to take a look into the stats difference and how it affects our performance on our battle. So uh, first, let's take a look into the stats. So the level 110 Chaos Armor have around 5000 HP and 600 defense. The level 135 have 7000 HP and almost 800 defense. So the top armor has around 2000 HP and almost 200 defense uh, difference. Now let's take a look at the bottom. The 135 has around 3500 and five, uh, almost 500 defense. And the level 135 has 4900 HP and 639 defense. So the difference is around 1500 HP and 150 defense. So let's take a look into the max upgraded versions of it. The level 110 Chaos Armor have 917 defense and 14,000 HP. Now compare it to the level 135, it has 1257 defense and 20,000 HP. So that's quite a huge difference now. And moving on to the bottom armor, the Chaos level 110 bottom armor have 752 defense and 9807 HP. Compare it to the level 135, it has 1331 defense and 14133. So in total with the top and bottom armor, we got an extra 619 defense and 10506 HP. Also, the level 135 has a better bonus compared to level 110 armor. So, these additional stats will for sure increase our survivability because we will be able to tank a damage from the monsters more. But if you are using a mod sword build, it will also help us increase our damage. So, on this example, I'm using this Alice uh, skill that is a mod sword with the slot 3 unlocked. And I will compare the damage with when I'm using a level 110 armor. So without critical, it's doing 601,000 uh, damage. And if I compare the damage with, uh, with the, when I'm doing a critical with this Alice skill, it's doing 712,000 damage now. Uh, so let's fill up the switch gauge and see if I were to use the full potentials on the skills with the awakenings and the switch how much damage it's going to do so remember this is the when i'm using a level 110 armor so this is uh, doing 1,066,000 and uh, 662 000 damage so let's switch the armor now to the level 135 armor with the exact same sets that i was using before now uh, if i were to use it without critical, it's doing 711,000 damage. That's already a 110,000 damage increase compared to when I was using a level 110 armor. And it's almost comparable to when uh, my I was hitting critical. So it is like 50% damage increase. So now let's see our damage when I was uh, I'm hitting critical and see how much damage it increases. It's doing 831,000 damage, so that's uh, 120,000 damage increase. So that's that's still quite a lot. And we'll do the same thing again. So we'll use the switch and use the awakening this time and see how much damage increase we get. So it's hitting 1,931,000. So it's almost 300,000 increase in the damage. And that is from changing my armor from a level 110 armor to level 135 armor. But uh, do keep in mind that I also use this uh, Cool Witch Xenon skills as my passive. So it helps a lot in increasing the defense as my base defense gets higher. Because that's uh, giving a percentage of a defense increase based on my level. So if it, I do not use this Cool Witch Xenon skills, it probably doesn't increase the damage as much but it's still going to be a significant increase so it gives me 800 extra defense point with this build so other than the mod sword build the auto attack build is going to be benefited with this 
Keras armor upgrade as well. So I'm going to use this set here to for my auto attack build. So I'm going to use the holy element auto attack. On my second set, I'm using the Bohemian Pain Argo and the Top Speeder. And on my Koharu, I'm using the Windows of Bloom and those three are the one that will give me an additional damage based on HP. So uh, let's test it out the uh, damage with the uh, level 110 armor first. And here I'm just doing a setup to set up my dagger auto attack. I'm just getting the uh, burst skill ready and then I'll use the switch and we'll take a look at how much damage does my auto attack do with the combination of this three using my level 110 armor so uh, yep yeah, and then uh, we'll switch to dagger and and if I use my auto attack it's doing 155 to 167 thousand damage uh, for auto attack there Okay, now I switch the armor to level 135 armor and using this exact same set and exact same buff as well, let's take a look at how much damage we can do this time. So we could just gonna do the setup again. And yeah, this is the, my best auto attack build that I can achieve right now. But to be honest, I'm still not uh, that good in using auto attack myself. So okay, so let's switch to dagger here, and right now when we do the auto attack, it's doing 190,000 to 204,000. So that's around 35,000 damage increase per hit. Yeah, that is quite a lot of damage increase. So there you go, uh, so far I am pretty satisfied with this increase uh, in, in my damage while well, I'm upgrading the armor from level 110 to level 135. It will take a little bit longer to grind because we cannot trade the Medal of Combat to the rare drop on the uh, Chaos boss here. But I think the grind is really worth it when I'm, especially if you are using the Mod Sword or the Auto Attack build. Okay, so that's it for the video today. If you like this kind of content, please leave a like, a share, and subscribe to my channel. And feel free to leave a comment uh, if you have any questions about this, and I will be happy to discuss it with you. Okay, uh, I'll see you in the next video in the Ground Factor content. Bye now.